Well, all new at six, millions of more dollars are being funneled to police departments across Ohio. It's an attempt to reduce violent crime. Today, the governor announced law enforcement can use the money on everything from training to paying overtime. 10 TV's Kevin Landers is live at the state house to explain how one local police department is benefiting from this. Kevin? Well, good evening. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is adding $42 million to the Ohio Violent Crime Reduction Grant Program. For the city of Whitehall, that means they won't have to search on eBay for parts for its 911 system. Whitehall's 911 operators are working with computer consoles so old they were installed when George H.W. Bush was president in 1992. This grant was greatly needed because our current consoles are approximately 30 years old. Whitehall applied for and received $634,000 to replace this outdated equipment, which the department says prevents it from blending fire and police calls. The mayor says newer computers can lead to faster response times. We really have a great time lag in response, but if we can respond three to five seconds faster, that can save people's lives. So where's the money coming from? The Ohio Violent Crime Reduction Grant Program is using funding from the American Rescue Plan. Police departments can use the money for things like hotspot policing, crime gun intelligence centers, retention and hiring bonuses, and crime reduction strategies. Local law enforcement, local chiefs, local sheriffs, local mayors should be making the decisions for their community about specifically how this money gets spent. Whitehall says not only will it use the money to replace its outdated consoles, but also add another 911 pod to improve emergency call response. The governor believes the funding could keep career criminals off the streets. We've got to keep this small number of people who are responsible for the most violent crimes locked up longer. Now, the Whitehall Police Department is one of nearly 100 law enforcement agencies across Ohio that applied for this grant funding. Reporting live at the Statehouse, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.